on April 20, 2010, 41 miles off the coast of Louisiana in the Gulf of Mexico, an oil well reaching almost three and a half miles into the earth blew out. It exploded into a ball of flames killing 11 men and injuring many others. Emergency vessels rushed to the site, but the platform burned for more than a day, sinking on April 22nd. Just five months before, Sky Truth's President John Amos had testified before Congress that an offshore disaster of this magnitude could occur. Our work investigating drilling mishaps, severe storm damage, and leaking pipelines demonstrates that major oil spills still occur today, in U including in U.S. waters, despite significant advances in technology. As the Senate debates the merits of opening new offshore areas to energy development, it is important to understand and carefully evaluate the risks posed by offshore drilling. It was shocking, the largest oil spill in U.S. history, many times larger than the infamous Exxon Valdez spill in Alaska. The original BP estimate was 1,000 barrels per day. Using data provided by NASA satellites, John and oceanographer Ian McDonald monitored the spill and conservatively estimated it to be five times larger than the BP claim. Their data later proved it was more like 20,000 barrels per day, and by May 1st, they estimated 27,000 barrels were spilling per day. Within weeks, the federal government put together a team of scientists who determined 62,000 barrels of oil had been gushing into the Gulf every day. The attention John and Ian brought to this disaster and the large estimates of the spill drew national and international media attention. Their findings helped determine how much money BP would need to pay to help restore Gulf ecosystems and communities. Sadly, the Gulf of Mexico still hasn't recovered from the effects of the BP spill. Presently, the estimates for the population of sperm whales are about 750. So the population has been reduced by about 50%. And there are many other toothed whale populations that are equally impacted. So at both ends of the food chain, you see these sentinel organisms that are telling us that the Gulf of Mexico is under incredible threat and challenge, not just from the Deepwater Horizon event, but from all of the insults that we pose upon our ocean environment. Although most people have heard of the BP spill, few know that oil spills occur routinely in the Gulf of Mexico. Sky Truth's team has been monitoring the region for more than 15 years, and in that time has documented hundreds of smaller or less conspicuous spills. Sky Truth's discovery of a chronic leak at the site of a hurricane-destroyed oil platform prompted the Coast Guard to take control of the site and contain the leak after years of inaction. This kind of ongoing pollution is why SkyTruth is using emerging technologies in satellite imagery and data analysis to monitor the ocean, tracking not just oil wells, but also the pollution discharged from many of the hundreds of thousands of ships sailing the world's seas. SkyTruth is using artificial intelligence techniques that allow us to scan thousands of satellite images every day to identify illegal discharges of oily wastewater, known as bilge dumping, and identify the perpetrators who otherwise would go unnoticed. For two decades, SkyTruth's experience with oil pollution at sea has revealed that when you look for problems, you'll find them. And exposing problems is the first step towards real change. As we say at SkyTruth, if you can see it, you can change it.